Good evening, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Mooney. And I'm Angelique Lazardi. Going in depth tonight, we are learning more about a U.S. Customs and Border Protection employee facing over a dozen felony charges after police say he fired multiple shots in his Marana neighborhood during what they are calling a domestic dispute. The shooting happened on Wednesday night on North Moonfire Court. That's near Silver Bell and Twin Peaks Roads. News for Tucson's chief investigative reporter, Chorus Nylander, has been following this story. He is live from the Pima County Superior Court building with new documents on this incident as he goes in depth once again. Chorus. Hello, Sean. This is the interim complaint filed by the Pima County Attorney's Office detailing a violent domestic dispute. Miraculously, nobody was injured in all this, but a CBP civilian employee is behind bars facing some serious charges. Came out, there's cops all over the place. A usually quiet Miranda neighborhood sounded like a war zone after police say Timothy Sullivan fired several rounds inside and outside his home Wednesday night. According to these court documents, Sullivan's wife called 911 reporting he had slapped her. As officers responded, they could hear the volley of gunfire. Yeah, we were standing on the bridge right here, just looking that way. You know, that's when we heard a, a couple of pops go off in the house, and about that time, Another squad car rolled up. The guy told us to go back inside. It wasn't safe to be out here. Officers say Sullivan eventually came outside with a handgun and long gun, one in each hand, and fired several shots towards them, but soon surrendered. I'm glad that no one was uh, injured or killed. You can see these evidence markers here left behind by police showing nine bullet holes in this wall just across the cul-de-sac from where the suspect lives, showing just how dangerous this situation was for neighbors. Look right up here. Very obvious hole in the, the stucco up there. Robert Stickle lives just beyond the wall, riddled with bullets. He luckily wasn't home during the shooting. A round went right through his bedroom. The next morning, I actually did find a projectile laying on the floor in the bedroom. So, uh, yeah, could have been a whole lot worse. Police say Sullivan admitted to texting a death threat against his wife to her adult sons, but said he meant it figuratively. Stickle and McCain both knew him and never believed he would do something like this. Seemed like a nice guy, never had any issues with him. You know, at the end of the day, is it, it, all these problems can be solved. You can't fix killing somebody. And U.S. Customs and Border Protection has confirmed that Sullivan was a civilian employee with the Tucson Sector Office since 2022. Sullivan is now facing 19 felony charges here at Superior Court. At this point, his next court appearance has not been scheduled. We'll keep, keep you updated as there's certainly a lot more to come in this case. We're live downtown tonight. Cora Snylander, News 4 Tucson. Thank you, Chorus, and to read the full interim complaints, just visit our website at k